everyone, Nendo Kitty Chan here, and it's that time again for an anime figure haul. First off, we've got the new Ami Ami card for the month of November, and I really like getting and collecting these, they're always so cute. So I did get some non-figure items in this haul, including this super adorable curvy cup for no reason, just for the sheer fact that it was so adorable and cheap and yeah, I don't think you need a reason for adorable items like these. Next, I picked up a miniature Rilakkuma themed kotatsu table, which I just thought would be super adorable for my nendroids to sit at and hopefully it's not too big, but it just looks super cute. I, <laughs> I had to get it once I saw it. Keeping with the Rilakkuma theme, I absolutely had to pre-order this Remet set. It's the Rilakkuma Nico series and it's like a little cat cafe and I needed that in my life and so did my Nendroids, I'm sure. Uh, anything cat related is pretty much an insta buy for me, so I cannot wait to unbox this. Lastly of the non-figure items, I also snagged a pink woolly Yoshi amiibo. For figures, I picked up Nendroid Hanukkah in her training outfit, which is the first in this line, and as expected, She's so, so cute, and I can't wait to mix and match my Nendroids with the outfits from this series. I also pre-ordered the two-star Goku Uniform Mako, and though this anime isn't my favorite, Mako is definitely a redeeming character for this anime. So for me, the scene she's based off of is just so funny, and I really needed that crying face. Oh my god. She looks like a little, little sad little puppy, but yeah, that was definitely a selling point for me. As you may know if you watch my other videos, I did pre-order the beautiful Harvest Miku Nendroid. No regrets, she is such a cute little Miku to own and she also comes with some cute little accessories and a backdrop, so I think she was really worth it. Next we have the 1-8 scale version of Chitoge Kirisaki by Alter, and I've just been calling her the bun version. She's so cute and colorful, and if you'd like to see more, I do have an unboxing video for her as well. I also picked up the Pumpkin King Pop Vinyl sometime during October, and I just think he looks really cool in this version, and I was probably just feeling really Halloween-y at the time. And the last figure I pre-ordered was the 1-8 scale Undertaker figure by Kotobukiya, which finishes off my collection of Black Butler figures in this series. Though I would not be opposed if they did make some more figures from the latest season at Book of Circus, like Joker or Dagger, but I guess that's wishful thinking. So that was my loot haul for October and November. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I personally love watching loot haul videos and discovering different items or seeing figures I was thinking about getting as well. So if you enjoy these too, you can like and subscribe. I put out videos every week.